Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? It has been quite some time since we have had a PvP Top 5 here on the channel. Please keep the clips coming guys. I finally got around to editing and selecting some of the clips. I have to say there's a lot of awesome clips sent to me and unfortunately I could only pick 5. So here we are. Also guys, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and my community members. Community members, I need to figure out what to call you guys. My best suggestion that I've got so far that I think is pretty comical is uh, Horror Babies. You know, spelled with H-O-A-R. You know, it's... It's pretty good. Um, probably pretty demeaning. Probably not gonna roll with that name, but keep up the enthusiasm. I like it. Also, guys, if you want a chance to be featured in Horcrux's PvP Top 5, please submit your clips in the Discord community tab. There is a little tab there for you to do so, or just submit them to my email at horcruxeso at yahoo.com. Without further ado, fellas, let's get into the clips. Alright guys, so coming in, number 5 is YouTube Steak with his buddy Katori. Yes, I said buddy, I am featuring a 2VX in this top 5 because let's be real guys, 1VXing is pretty difficult in serial right now. So we're not going to keep track of the bodies, right? So right there was about 6 or so, and yeah, that was the first attempt at busting up this EP Zerg. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to kill anyone, they were getting most of the reses off, but that's okay. Also, he, he is in widescreen format. I'm not sure how the resolution and rendering is going to be once I render this video. So if it looks a little weird, that's why. So YouTube Steak and Katori is just resetting the fight, building up their ultimate, kind of picking off some of the stragglers on the outside. EP makes a pretty big mistake not resing anyone before they go into the keep. They survive the first onslaught from these two. Surely to God, they're not going to come back with a vengeance. Well, that's where they're wrong. They sure as hell do. Again, building up their ultimate. I love the icons, I love the add-ons, he's got the arrows, it's pretty neat, and you guys know this is coming, one, two, three, and double frank. <laughs> they are absolutely demolished, pulsar spamming, there's no hope for them, so the body counts up to, I don't know, 13 by now. Uh, here's 14, yeah, poor little guy. You look at the bodies on the floor, you love to see it guys, I know I'm a part of EP, but sometimes it's nice seeing EP get dicked on. So uh, we'll just, just call this 15, it pops a barrier, it absolutely doesn't matter, spin to win. Goes on the last guy over here in the corner. Uh, he, is a, he is a tanky little bugger, he's gonna take a little while to, to take down, but eventually we'll spin to win, kill this man. So we'll just put the body count at 15 or 16, yo, very well played guys. Thank you for your submissions, thank you, thank you. Okay guys, so coming in at number 4 is Leaky Foster from the Xbox yet again on a sand blade. This time he's not running Hrothgar and he's really going to man up on these DC out in the open here. So this is very atypical of what I see 9 blades do, but uh, he gives no shits fellas. Incaps Delta Dart, uh, he is out 5000. A really huge burst coming out there from him. I'm surprised he's still alive. He's not detected just yet, but don't worry, they have amalgamation of detect bots. Well, <laughs> it doesn't matter, he deletes another player by the time he gets his ult up again. So it goes back into self. Rebuff, rearm, goes on this level 11 here. He, you know he's got to go sometime. Almost gets ganked by the Nightblade with Chlorians. Able to roll dodge out of that. Goes into stealth, incaps at level 11 again. He is out of 5,000. He gets detected. Someone pops the detect pot. The DC are very, very thirsty. They have not drank in what seems like an entire month. So they chase him up through this tree. The Nightblade, well, he chases him by himself. And you guys know the turn and burn. Look at this crit. A 19k crit oh my god imagine getting turned on there so i spit up this clip because he did a lot of impressive movements dodge dip duck diving and dodging get away from those blue guys he's able to catch the templar that's been super annoying does not matter if he has a qd pot roll dodge just through everything look at the range on this thing cap boom flies through the air like i don't even know like fucking superman right style points that you leak your man i don't even know what to say that him flying through the air like that was just so comical. I just had to include it in the top five. Yo, good clip, man. Thank you so much for your submission. Good luck out there. Good fights. Good fights. All right, fellas, coming in at a well deserved number three as Lobo Blanco on the Magicka Dragonite on the PC. Leap of Faith already deleted one poor, poor EP. On to number two. This warden doesn't stand a chance, even with the wards. So, the way this clip plays out, he has a nice little 1v5 here, but guys, he is not done. This man is super relentless. Deletes this kid with the Molten Whip. I love this build that he's running. It's very single target focus. He's rocking the Ellie Dream with the Molten Weapon instead of using Talons and Power Lash. Now, I'm not sure if he's going to change this build for this patch, but as of right now, man, this build is looking pretty spicy. He's able to clean it up there. Now, I did clip out a lot of uh, kiting to jump onto the good stuff. So right here is five people I am yet again. Ends up deleting one of the poor saps. Ralph Rip 
Boss lies, does not break. Is he able to get the kill? Yes, he is. Does he does he fall off here? Uh, uh, does he jump? No, he does not. He's going to interrupt the res. Good job there. He's a little low on magic, so he's got to be careful. He's tossing out a leap to get some resources back. Can he finish off this guy? Yes, he can. Good shit, my dude. Good shit. And you are coming in clutch, eating that charge. You, you gotta heal, little guy. You gotta heal. You gotta heal. He's starting to get his... Oh, oh God! Yes, he gets his molten procs up. Huge burst combo coming out from Loco Blanco. Throws out his whip because he's feeling super froggy. At last but not least, he's not gonna last long, fellas. Yo, Loco Blanco, this is an incredible clip, my dude. Thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, so coming at number two is Solo Ult Me on PlayStation on the Stand Blade. So he immediately starts off the fight with a, a huge burst there. Good job, Solo Me, for thinning the hurt already. Had to speed up the clip because he does have a few hard hitting burst combos, just not able to close out the kills. So we finally speed up to a point where he's able to isolate one of the poor DC away from his dedicated healer, make short work of him. Turns back into the Zerg, just rebuff and rearm. So he has his bow, he's ready to go, he gets the stun, drops the shade, pops his invis, pops his rise, ready for a burst. He's detected, he don't care. 18k grit on this poor, poor man over here. Eventually he will close out and get this kill. Bada bing, a bada boom. Reset, invis, popping his buff, goes to the shade, pops rally. He's ready to go. He has his old man. He has his bow. He is ready to flow, fellas. Pops on the little guy. Yeets him off the fucking edge. That was so funny. A 17k bow on top of that. Man, that yeet animation is so funny. Super classy. You love to see it. Pops his shade just in case he needs to get out. Shuffle a little bit. This, this snare immunity. He has his bow. He has his ult. What's he going to do, guys? He's going to opt. Oh, boom. In cap. Uh, does do a lot of damage surprisingly. This dude is very very tanky and uh, tanks are super annoying. So he goes to his shade, pops his vigor, pops his shade yet again in case he needs to get out. Has his bow ready. Who's he gonna focus this time? Oh, he catches this guy. It absolutely smushes him into the ground. His face a full on into the dirt. You love to see it man. Super super classy. Dodges a top lane charge. Knows this guy is super tanky. He's not gonna be able to kill him. Goes over. Interrupts the res. His body counts to like 7 8 at this point, and he can't kill this guy because he's tanky. But good clip, man. Good clip. Okay, guys. So coming in at number one is Exo on the Stam DK on the Xbox. So he already deletes his warden, trying to get back to his Zerg. A huge amount of damage there. Like I was watching this clip before, before I had to edit all this. This man has some serious damage. So I speed it up to the next death. Jumps, boom, almost gets a leap here. Almost a 10k leap without a crit. That, that's, uh, that's, that's a lot of damage, right? So, gets hit with the negate, negate here. I'm not sure where that negate comes from, to be honest. Um, so he goes back in defense, pops his vigor, pops his rally, pops his vigor again. Gets his major mending up. He's ready to go back in on the burst. Tries to delete the zoo pet sork. Almost gets bursted by a Dawnbreaker plus ornaments from the stam sork. He's able to get away, go back upstairs, reset. He's a pot coming up, full down. The pets are following upstairs, which is actually working to his advantage because he can heavy attack them and get resources back. So he's reset full resources. Somehow the flame or the, the, the noxious breath misses. Don't know. Makes a new mistake, lets him get the res off, doesn't matter, he gets a legit collateral anyway right after the res. So, in my opinion, getting the res off there, uh, it actually made the clip look a lot flashier. So, uh, maybe that was planned. Hmm, who knows. So he's gonna buff up, rearm. This <laughs> the poor zoo sword comes back upstairs, he's not ready for the build guys. He does not have the stamps work there this time to help him with the Donny CC. The other poor yellow down here is getting snipe spam. You know what, Exo doesn't care. No mercy for this yellow group. Leaves this man from the back into an execute. One more guy left. There's, it's not looking good. <laughs> Make sure work of this man as well with a huge execute. Yo, Exo, thank you for being sending me these clips. Thank you for being supportive of the channel. Amazing clips, man. It's like a 1v9 at the end of the day. And of course, he got kills before this as well, guys. I had to edit them out. Anyways. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed the PvP Top 5. Please let me know down in the comments what I can improve on, or maybe I muffed up the order, and maybe uh, Loco Blanco should have got number one. Let me know down in the comments. Anything you guys want to see me do going forward, please let me know as well. Anything I can improve on, I'm always open to criticism. I want to get better for you guys, for myself, you know, just to make the channel better. If, again, if you want to submit your clips, please do so at the Discord channel, preferably. 
If not, you can submit them at horcruxeso at yahoo.com. 1080p is preferred just so we can have some really nice quality videos for everyone to see. Do not forget to eviscerate the like and subscribe button before you peace out. And uh, yeah, I'll let you guys get to it. Have a great night.